Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Salford City Career Mode episode with me, the Hawkeye Punisher. We are well on the road to the end of the season. As you can see by the table right here, we are on 39 games, 74 points. We are right behind Barnsley. They have got a game in hand though, that is the bad thing. And also Luton Town are one point away from us and they've got two games on us. So honestly, this season, we haven't got that much left of it, as I'll show you right now. We have Peterborough and Charlton, and then we're going to the last month of the season. But it's another five games. Honestly, we need to take maximum points if we're going to have an inch of a chance of going up automatically. Otherwise, it's going to go to roll over to us trying to get in the playoffs. Well, we are in the playoffs, but obviously we don't want to do the playoffs. We want to avoid it at all costs. But if we have to, we'll do it the dirty way. But uh, this is going to probably be the next to the last episode of the series of of this season but I, I should say um, obviously I was gonna try and fit it the rest of the season if it depends how we do in the season another um, quick note look at that Brandon Thomas Sante has scored 19 league goals this season he's on the verge of scoring 20 goals for a left winger to do that honestly it's it's astonishing he's a 72 overall he is the highest rated man in our team he is doing wonders for us. And also, I'm very happy because today my my new controller will arrived. So that means I won't be getting annoyed about my controller doing stupid shit. <laughs> um, it feels a bit weird because it's a new controller as all, thing, all new things feel a bit weird at first. But it'll be one of them. Hopefully I'll get quite used to it quite quick. And hopefully this will improve performances. Because I feel like a lot of the shit was going to pass me. Like, the loose touches, like my right analogue stick. It was very, very sticky for some first. I, I think it was just dirty or it's just old. He just weren't moving right, and I honestly think that's something to do with why the first touch was so bad. But was like, <laughs> might be completely wrong. Might maybe the control wasn't broken at all. But regardless, we are going to play this game against people right here, and um, we're going to get straight into it. Hopefully, we have got a full starting eleven. That we have, so we're going to get straight into this. Let's do this. And again, kind of in a bad formation. God's sake. Regardless, get, let's get straight into it. Oh, not the play I was looking for, but okay. All that is in the starting lineups now. He is one of our highest rated players in there right now. He's 70, 65 overall, so he's definitely got the attributes. And he's got two goals at two goals to win as a game at one point. So, oh, brilliant from James Wilder again. Can he just run this forward? He has got some pace on him. And I can see. Let's just use our hair. Oh, well, my palm, he just couldn't get on top. Let's then go just marshalling in that middle bit. Can't get onto it. We'll say with this new controller, I feel like I can move around a little bit easier. Don't feel as groggy. James Wilder, into Masengo, back to O'Hare, he can run his forward, and I see, Jansen, what a ball, what a goal, what a start, oh I'm loving this new controller, I am guys, oh my god, gets in there, Jansen with a finish, but what a pass by O'Hare, finally the passes are coming off, let's have a little look at this, look at this, O'Hare drives into that space, Jansen makes a run, and chip over the over the defence. We're kind of doing what they do to us quite a lot. And Jansen gets on the score sheet again. Look at that, 13 league goals. Absolutely fantastic. This is a message for Tyler Berry. That's Tyler Berry. Oh, and uh, please make yourself known to the nearest steward. Thank you. Torrey closing down. Come on. Got a chance to close it down here. Oh, Torrey did really well there. And I see. Can Asante make that run? And I do. I see him. And he does get to him. And Asante with a curler. And he makes it too. It's 2 0. Uh, this is just proving my fears right. I 
since I broke my original controller that everything's been going wrong in games what I don't want it to do now it actually it feels so much better I'm loving it I am loving this career mode right now get in there come on let's build on this oh look at all he, he proper skilled me out there Jesus oh but Tori does well and Palmer gets back to help him out all that cleans up Masengo out to Armstrong oh it's very nice I can actually do some skills now Sengo. He's going to play us to Janssen. Oh, I don't know what it is. Pierre just standing off us right now. And they so. Let's hopefully have a good half like we did last time. We completely dominated that, that, that first half. Absolutely amazing to see. Asante. Oh my god. He needs to go right on the outside of me. Oh, I can't. He. <laughs> He tried to beat two, but he didn't. Taylor in the field for Peterborough. I don't even want to know how to pronounce that name. Ooh. He's playing this ball nicely in Peterborough. Torre, he's going to get down to that left. And that's their first cross into the box. And Horvat, oh, beautiful. He gets it straight to Alton. He's obviously put his den up. Well, look at that. Attempts on target, we've had seven. They've had zero. That's just, oh my god. To see this team's fifth as well, it's just honestly. Saying that, I have struggled a lot more against lower league teams this season. I have top. Palmer there. Gets into Palmer, who's keeping off Thompson here. <laughs> I'm just going to get quite, quite, quite past him, right? Palmer. He's going to use Jansen. He's going to use Armstrong. Armstrong's still got it. He's going to use James Warden. He sees O'Hare, but he can't get quite great to him. And so he's going to come forward and again just beat Lisa in the air. And see Carl O'Hare. Well, he can't quite get through there. But he, he's putting in a performance today, Carl O'Hare. And can he get a goal? Yes, he can! He makes it free! He has deserved that goal today. This lad has worked his socks off today. Absolutely fantastic. What a team performance today. Asante just steps him up and curls one into the top corner. Absolutely outstanding. This is a hell of a way to start the episode. trying to offer up something here. So I need to get out to him. Oh my god, have we got to get something here? Oh my god, they just got like, oh, what a bullshit, like, really lucky goals. Jesus. And they're celebrating like they just won a cup. I mean, I'm more, I'm more annoyed that I've not kept a clean sheet. Just in the last 10 minutes, they've just started to make something like, Maybe I just overcommitted on one side, but that. Alberto again gets in the way of it, and it goes straight back to him. Big hey guy, Well done, Pedro. It's not going to change the result. It's a bit annoying that we're not going to get a clean sheet, but. Who's going to get a bat now, unfortunately? Clive Harris is going to try one more. Attack. Tori's going to just whack this one up. Get this thing done. Do you know what? I'm not going to let that spoil my mood. That was a very, very good game. We did very, very well. I'm really, really happy with that first game of the episode. I'm hoping. I don't know where Charlton are in the league. We're going to have to look when we come up against them. The ninth in the league. So we'll be playing this one. I've just switched tack team right very slightly. Brought Dunbar in and Jones in, as well as Embase uh, as a door as well. Just kind of change it up, give a few people a bit more game time. I was thinking of as a Marco, but he's proper moaning about game time. So 
he may be someone who might have to leave next year just because I don't think he's that good but his overall is quite good so we could get some money from him that's my thinking but anyway regardless no chance to talk we're, we're getting this season wrapped up and hopefully we can get some information on who on Barnsley's games because we need to keep up with them game number two of the episode again a lot of games played today we're not going to be really simming that many really I don't want to risk it too much if I'm honest I want to try and get maximum points I want to give us the maximum chance but regardless let's get this game kicked off hopefully Ricky J Jones Dunbar can all have positive games get this off to Masengo James Warden let's play this around Dunbar or her he had a very, very good game in the last one. Let's see if we can continue that. And we'll see Torre. Can we just get this one in? We can, but he can't make anything of it. And Thomas Asante on the volley. And then, oh, it's Ricky Joe Jones! Oh, the amount of times we had our shot blocked. And it, this one goes in. Our team is lethal right now. Ricky J. Jones, I think that must be his second goal for the club. But it's awesome to see. Look at this. Masengo puts out an Asante. Comes off a defender, but, but I've got to say, we got lucky with that one. So I'm going to hold my hands up and say, thank you, FIFA gods. Look at that for a finish as well. That is top notch by Ricky Jade. Beautiful. How many goals has he got so far? That's his third goal, so he must have only got one for Peterborough. Fair enough. Gets it to Alberto. It's not the best of clearances by. What the hell was that from from Jism? <laughs> <Jism. laughs> Jim Guarded being a big solid right back as he always is at the moment. And I see Asante. Is he going to make the move? No, he's not. But Ricky J. Jones is going to make the room for Asante. And Asante! And he does an absolute worldie! Look at that! Look at this man! 21 goals this season. That's just in the League One as well. I don't know how many other competitions he might have scored. But this was fantastic. Look at this. Brilliant from Ricky J. Jones to make the room. Look at this. A couple of step overs to make the room. Then bang, kills it into the bottom corner. That is a beauty of a goal. Again, we go 2 0 up in a game. I want to be a bit more clinical because we do sometimes have too many shots and we're not scoring enough of them. I don't know if it's doing this new controller, but my play just feels so much more. much better. Much better. I don't feel like buddy wooden sticks like we usually do. And Palmer from distance! Oh, we get so unlucky. Palmer nearly scored an absolute worldie. That was beautifully placed. Oh, James Wild has run out to Jason. Disney. Whatever his name is. That, this is number seven of theirs. The one we're trying to look for. Oh, we've lost us here. It might get us a goal here if we don't be careful. All that, get out of way, good lad. Palmer can get us away. Yes, he can. Sante's away. Can we get one more before half time? Gonna try. And Dunbar! Dump! Oh my god, the defender just gets there. I tried to set and settle and shoot, but it didn't work out. Woo. Oh. Oh, well, the same go. Not a bit unnecessary there for me. Remember so, but got it. And Ricky J. Jones, he could be away here. Yeah? That's a good touch. Asante turns his man and he puts it away! I thought the chance was gone, but no, he, up, he used his strength to his advantage, kept the man and just rolled him and then had a ruthless shot. Again, O'Hare gets an assist, 
I could have passed it off to Palmer, if I'm honest, but no way. We're getting that, that pass off. We are going to go for goal with Asante. He is going for the golden boot. He is on a hat trick now. I don't think he has a hat trick in his series. I don't think he has. I'm happy about that. That was a dangerous one. Yes, Ricky J. Jones is going to come off. He's had a very, very good game. Good lad. He's a very, very good backup for Janssen. He's a very good alternative as well. I feel like Janssen's a lot more technical than uh, Ricky J. Jones. Ricky J. Jones is just pure pace. Obviously, Janssen does have some pace about him as well. O'Hare swings up and out to James Harden. Fans from Sengo. Sets up O'Hare for another shot, but that is safely captured by Amos. That's a good ball. We need to get someone out to him. Just want to slide there just in case he tried to put that in for someone. Duh. Careful, careful. Oh no, that's going to go in. Oh my god. Let's see if we can get this up straight up to Dunbar quickly. It's not going to go up to Dunbar. Oh, there. It somehow gets out to Dunbar. And Dunbar is on a run. Can he get, kind of put in here? Red? Are you serious? What do we have to do to get a fucking foul in this game? Masenga from distance. But Janssen, O'Hare, can you get this on back to him? No, we can't. Oh, no, no, man, you can you get his, his head on this? No, he can't either. God damn it. But he's getting to the closing stages. Willock. Oh, my God, what a goal. That is a beautiful finish by Willock. Good lad. He's just come on. Not been on that long, and he's just, he's just picked up where Palmer left off. That is just an absolutely exquisite finish. The Santa picks it up. He... Gets it to Janssen. Janssen just sets him up. Look at that one touch. Bang. Amos was so close to saving that one as well. I would have killed him. A nice 4 0 win. We haven't at. Well, I was going to say we haven't conceded yet this episode, but we have. Right, goddamn one goal against Peter. But anyway. Look at this. Can we get another one? Oh my god. A scientist on a hat trick. Can he kill this one in? Yes, he can! It's hat trick day for the captain! The vice captain of the club and the captain for today, Thomas Asante. He is walking away with Golden Boot. I promise you, I want to get it. I want to make sure he wins this Golden Boot for you guys. He is doing fantastically. Look at this. He just sets it up and curls it past Amos, who has, I've got to say, been absolutely stupendous for Charlton today. We're getting well in Asante. Five nil. Again, not one of our biggest wins. We've won about six nil and six one before, so but well in. We haven't conceded, that is what I love to see. Five goals to nil. Get in. Well in that lad. I think that is his first hatch. I'm gonna have to look at the early episodes and see. But honestly, this lad is something special. He is coming up to the Prem. He is coming to the Championship. He is going to get us to the Champions League. I promise you, this lad is special. He is such a hidden gem in his career mode. I urge any of you doing a, a League 2, League 1 career mode, sign this lad up. Even for the subs bench, this lad will get you goals. We move on. Again, Barnsley must have won that game because there's still three points in Brothers. I'm still waiting for them to play their game in hand so we kind of know what we're up against in a way, but uh, we're still actually waiting. The thing is, every game what goes by, they're not losing. It just feels like it's ne inevitable that we're going to be having to go through the playoffs. It's annoying. Uh, Vinsky, he is saying that he wants to cancel his contract. What is he? Oh, it's our six foot six. This guy, honestly, I'm gonna promote him. But the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put him out on loan and hopefully get him out on loan for next season. Speaking of youth academy prospects, obviously we are gonna start. We have got some youth academy 
reports coming through. Anyway, let's look at these reports. Petrovic, look at that. Do you know what? I've, just because of that potential, I'm going to have to get him in case he gets pinched by someone else. Uh, Brakovic. Um, it's very good uh, uh, value. So, like, oh my god. Sasa Jukic. This is like... <laughs> I thought I was... I thought he said Jovic. It would have been so good. Why has he got grey hair? <laughs> well, he's 15. Great, great potential and great value. Definitely getting in my team. Oh, you've kind of put the team anyway. Uh, Scotland now. Uh, the what? Nope. Oh my god, these are bad. Oh my god, these are terrible. Oh my god, no potential was over 80. Oh my god, that was awful. That was awful. Goodbye, Scotland. <laughs> Bobby Hill. I don't like that he's bald. <laughs> I don't see that many players that, that young. Bald. Um, Stubbs, he can. He's a striker. Uh, let's keep him in there for now. Harry Wilson as well. Not yet. I'm actually getting a lot, a lot of 200k players in there right now. But Daniel Bennett, get in my Ukami. You just make the cut. Uh, you. No, abs no, absolutely not. Okay, they can stay in there for now. Okay. So this is a big game. In the grand scheme of things, I don't think there's any chance for us catching up to Hulk. But if we hand them a, a, a loss here today, that might trigger a spiral where they may drop points. Honestly, with the way Barnsley are playing, they seem to not be losing at all. And, I mean, it looks like Luton may, may have lost the game because they've gone five points away from us now. Even if they win their two games, they will still go above us by one point, but that's not... Let's not forget about that. This is going to be the last game of the episode because I'm gonna. The next episode is going to be the rest of the season. I'm hoping something happens where we don't have to do the playoffs, but we'll have to see. In the grand scheme of things, I don't think even if we beat them here, we're not going to overtake them. I don't think. I'm not going to think like that. But I'm just hoping we just need to keep winning. All I can say is let's not worry about what everyone else is doing. Let's just do our bit and hope for the best. We've won our two Thank games. We've, the game. In the last two games, we've scored eight goals in two games, conceding one. That is an amazing stat. Hopefully, we can inflict more pain on Hull today. Oh, the defender just gets a, a slide tackle in there on Asante. Couldn't use his moves too early. James Wilding picks it out of the air. Finds Misengo. Over to Armstrong. He's waiting for support. Look at that, he finds James Wilding. He finds Janssen! And now we go again! We are tearing teams apart right now. Where was this scoring form early in the season? I'm not even going to use the fact of a controller, because honestly, a controller can't have that much effect, can it, really? But look at this, James Wilding, look at that. The goalkeeper just sort of misses it. it that's, a, that's, that's a weird, weird goal to concede. But Janssen with an absolutely easy tap-in. And Janssen, he is starting to score the goals I want him to. 14 in the league. He's nowhere near the top goal scorers. But, Jesus Christ, he's definitely up and about there. And it's brilliant to see. I've got to say as well, guys, by the end, because we've got to start thinking about it now. Who is going to be the player of the season come the end of this? I've got a few people in mind. Obviously, the big one who's been scoring all our goals, Thomas Stein, is in there. I've got a bit of an outsider as well who I'm thinking of, and that is James Wilden. He has been such a good ride back for us, not just this season, but last season. He kind of took over James, and he, his deliveries have been amazing. But could he... Jansen? Oh, just narrowly. But he is definitely someone in my mind who's, especially, I think he'll make the shortest. Also, make sure you, you're commenting down below who you think should be man of the, man of the season for you. Because I will be putting a poll out eventually and I want you guys to have your say. Oh, hey, I see him going through the middle. Can you do this? Yes, he can. Oh, hey! Makes it 2-0 to Salford. 
We are deadly right now. Kawa Mahay starting to get his shooting boots on. Palmer just holding off his defender. O'Hare running into the middle. Look at that. Easy, easy pickings. Oh no. Samuelson! Oh, Hull have absolutely done us there. Eh? I wasn't commentating then, literally. They just tore us apart with a couple of passes there. If you, let's just have a little look at this goal. Look at this. There's nothing going on. And suddenly one pass. I would love to know why... One, where's Embe so? Two, why is Torre so far away? And to be honest, that's just a good fucking finish. I can't even blame Alberto for that. Got to be careful. We're only one, nil, one goal apart from him now. And we can't make this slip. Not a good touch, but Anton does get back inside, thank God. And Jansen holds it up. Gonna use Masengo. And I do see Asante there, I see a little gap. Oh, we can play 1 2. Asante! Makes it 3 1. Restores clarity. That is a really good move. I am looking forward to looking at the stats at the end of the season. I'm not gonna show them yet. Uh, anymore, I'm not going to show you any stats until we, I would do the overall but look about that, O'Hare him, Jansen and Asante are racking up the goals and assists right now we're all going to be on like double figures of everything right now at this rate <sighs> come on, let's not concede a goal here we don't want to do that hold that, get on that, what a save I mean I don't think it was going in but What's this going in? It, I think it was. It wasn't the heaviest of the headers, but... All right, get your head on this, lad. All right, this is yours. Good lad. Oh, come on, right out to Samuelson, though. Right, you don't want that, and Alberto. Safe hands again. Good lad. Oh. Samuelson, who has been their most dangerous player right now. Gotta make that usual sub. Palmer coming off for Willett. Seems to work for us. Peter being played. Well, we need to hear more things about Barnsley, really. With Alan Keegan, that's Alan Keegan. Please come to reception. Your wife is waiting for you. Ah, oh, wrong foot there, I'm So if you went for any other foot, you would be all right. Can he run out of this? He doesn't let Emmanuel get past him though, that's good. Good lad. What a tackle by Torre. And he has set up a counter-attack here with Janssen. And he's going to put it away. The massive assist goes to Torre there. What a tackle. What a goal by Janssen. Just easy pickings for the Dutchman. He is our... He, he, he sort of gives me dirt cow vibes. I'm not going to lie. I swear to God, I'm sorry I'm just comparing my youth academy players to everyone else, but it's what everyone else does, so you sort of want them to live to the heights of them kind of players. I mean, I'm sure, wasn't Dirk Howe, like, one of their top goal scorers at one point? If I'm, I'm, I'm not mistaken, I'm going to have to check this stuff out. Or oh, Van Percy, if you want to say that. Going to make my last two changes. Dunbar and Azen Marco are going to come on for Asante and Armstrong, giving them a bit of a rest. You know what? I'm physically putting my hands up and saying, what the hell? And what a hit. I've just got to say, I can't... Dude, why isn't he a bloody centre-back? And he just hit a free kick. What? It's not too far away, but look at that. That, I can't even say Alberta should have done better. That's just so nice to hit. We've got to have a look at this again. Admire it. Look at that. Maybe it's not as high, so maybe he could have done better, but... That was just had a bit of pace on it. And he was very nice. That's his first goal as well. From a free kick. What the hell? I've just got to say, what I can't really complain about a goal. I love goals like that because I can't complain about them. Oh. 
Jesus Christ, Ray. Are you not going to give me anything? Jesus. Oh, Horvath. Absolutely fantastic. Could be a really good move. Dunbar! Slots it home. The Scottish winger puts it away. Very nice work by Azan Marco, I've got to say. Sorry if any audio carbon, my footage just... It's on like a timer for an hour and I keep forgetting about it. Look at that. Nicely sets him up. Now he's a good little touch to set him up for the shot. I thought he, thought him, he, he effed it up, but he didn't. As you can tell, I am trying to stop swearing as much in videos. When I've watched my videos back, I've been swearing so much in this series, honestly. Honestly, you can see the bullshit I have to deal with, so... You can probably forgive me. Look. I see Janssen. Dumba! We're going to tap him! I was thinking of going with Janssen, but it was a bit of a tight angle. But Dumba had an open net. There we are, he's second of the day. Beautiful for our Scottish Messi. Look at this. I've got to say, again, from a Marco. Good play, good play, lad. He seems more of a playmaker than a winger. He just never seems to be able to get away from players. I think I said that about Armstrong as well. He didn't have the pace of a winger, but he has the technical attributes. But we are going to win this game 6 2 again. Our scoring fob is unbelievable. If I put up anything, I've got to maybe put up the goalkeepers. Look at this. Can we get one more? Come on, Red. Give us one more. I could have had my highest scoring run there. Eh? The six, six goals is the highest scoring run in a game. That is three wins in this episode. Three big wins as well against the top ten teams. It is looking absolutely fantastic for us, boys. I'm hoping, please, Barnsley have done something and just lost. Have they done anything? Barnsley. Oh, Stephen has nearly got a point off them. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're very much struggling to get anything from them right now. I mean, the good thing is, we're sort of pulling away from Luton and we pulled away from Peterborough. I mean, the only good thing is, is that we're, we're getting closer to Hull, but we'd need them to lose quite a few games. And I think we've only got three more games. I I just think we've got to face reality, and I think we're going to... I think we're going to have to go through the playoffs. What's a bit annoying to me, but... Three more games we're going to have to play, but obviously, probably I'll probably sim the first leg and then play the second, as I usually do in, in two-legged affairs. Uh, I'm going to simulate this one just to finish the episode. Hoping, please. Come on. Come on. Keep the winning run going in this episode. Oh no, it's a draw. Oh, for God's sake. This is what screwed us over this season. Sim games have been arseholes to us. Honestly, they have been arseholes to us. This is what makes me feel like it's so unfair. We faced Doncaster who were like 19th and we and we draw against teams like this. How many draws have we had against teams like this? Honestly. Let's just look at the trip. So let's just look at the tape before we leave this episode. Because the next episode is going to consist of obviously the end. I'm going to try and fit in the playoffs in, in that episode. Because most likely it looks dead uncertain that we're going to uh, be going through the playoffs so to be honest I'm more likely just going to simulate through that last few games and then just I'm going to focus on the playoffs who obviously will have to go against possibly well it looks dead set on us, Peterborough, Luton and Wigan Luton and Wigan are our nemesis and I think if it stays how it is well I don't think it would but I feel like it might be people who face who we did destroy early in the episode, so 
So the first game would have simulated this one regardless to 16. So let's see if we can get the result here. Hopefully we do. I want to at least stay third. Yes, we do get the win this time. Thank God. They've still not played their game yet, Barnsley. What's a bit weird. Uh, we're going to simulate this one again. MK Dons. We're going to get the win. Hopefully we do. Keep the pressure on Barnsley, maybe. Oh my God, we fucking lose. Who are the... Oh my god, the, the whole team just had a shitty game. I, honestly, what the hell? <laughs> um, and if I'm honest, I'm going to play my backup team simply to rest them and keep a, a, a best team out there. Uh, obviously, yeah, yeah, they can stay out there. Hopefully, see if we can do anything with this team. I don't really mind. I just want to get out there. I think we one nil. What the? F Oh my, what is with sim games and not letting us score? So we have got a big, big episode coming. We are facing Peterborough in the playoffs. Obviously, I will be simulating this first game, but then playing the second leg. And then obviously, hopefully, we get through to the final. I do not, what what we'll be doing, we'll be act, uh, actively simming this one, just in case. I don't want to risk it. Um, but obviously, please stay tuned for the next episode, because obviously, we'll wrap everything up of the season. Regardless... Thank you so much for watching. My name's The Hulk Car Punisher. You've been watching the Sulfur City Career Mode. Hope you tune in for the next episode. Watch should be coming out very, very soon. Five likes and you will get it. I'll be doing it either straight after I've recorded this one or I'll be doing it sometime very soon. So please make sure you comment it down below who your player of the season is. If you can put it down below and if you see a comment with that name on it and you like that, like it so I can see it. And I promise you, by maybe the end of this career mode, I will put a little video together of the fan play of the season for every single season. I will do that for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate everything you're giving me, all the likes, all the views, everything. I love you all. Thank you very much. Catch you next time.